<clears throat> I'm to go ahead and say um, to the public that um, I can't report anything that is going on in this terrorist compound. Um, like, like I said, the good stuff can never talk about. And then is endless harassment by law enforcement, U.S. law enforcement. Um, or just out, out right in your face, like the uh, Middle Eastern woman parked directly in front of my house while the hobo crack addict was rummaging through my box from Walmart on my porch. He sat right down with her. She was directly 200 feet in front of him. She was parked directly in front of my house and everybody's working. She's working in her car. He's working on stealing my box. And don't forget, I left the box there for three separate times before I went out on the third time to get it. So everybody's just so smart. But this is what they choose to believe. Okay, so you're the smartest and the best in the world. Okay. Um, so out in the open, right in your face, these radical Muslim terrorists who go after other peacekeeping Muslims, then they go after all the Jewish people on the entire planet. Then they go after everybody else and they call them infidels, okay? Those out right in the public, open, in your face, they are now celebrities, along with their US law enforcement who are primarily white supremacists. There are also a lot of Mexican drug cartel in the law enforcement. They've paid off and bought off our, our police precinct, primarily precinct police throughout the US. Um, I need to just go ahead and inform the public that the, the, the result of this sort of right out in your face, constant threats on the internet, constant threats, no matter what social media, they just get in constant threats, hate speech and harassment and intimidation. The result is you lose Chicago through WMD military strikes. You lose your Manhattan. The good guys are trying to keep Manhattan in one piece, but you lose certain segments of that island of Manhattan. It's coming, it's a guarantee, it's a promise. I urge Erdogan, I urge Iranian president number whatever one is left after they all drop out of the sky with their helicopters and planes plunging to the ground. I keep, I'm, I'm telling them now, run to that United Nations and go on TV because the time is running out. Run to that town in Manhattan because the time is running out. There's going to be segments of Manhattan that will be struck with missiles. It's a guarantee. The good guys are trying to keep the evil military from annihilating that island. This is our country. We don't want our island of Manhattan annihilated. The evil military wants to do that in revenge for losing the war. They are losers of war. The only difference between these evil scoundrels and these um, white extremist terrorists and Muslim terrorists, the only difference is they know they're losers of war. They know when to back off. That's the only difference. They're all still vengeful, revengeful scoundrels with no loyalty and you can't trust them as far as you can throw them. Not any of these humans are worth having on the earth. So I need to report to the public or whatever, inform the public I am to do this. The constant threats and harassment along with the obvious in your face poisoning of the witness to your stupid, ridiculous, famous terrorist cell, the constant and pervasive, berserk, bizarre, bonkers, crowds of people just walking and staring up at S Street and staring up at this compound, primarily white homosexual men coming in packs along with these strange women that roll baby buggies. I'm talking 20 baby buggies a day go by this place, if not more. They're going out of their way to do this. So that constant 
bonkers, berserk activity gets your major cities devastated. Put it on your little calendar. No matter what you keep doing to me as I'm helpless, alone, and begging for help, put it on your calendar. The more you do it, the more it's done. It's already being done to the White House, the executive staff, Joe Biden and Jill Biden, who are sitting down there with the Secret Service, to the Secret Service in the Navy Yard. Prepare for the war that you started in your capital city, in your backyard. Joe Biden, I am your backyard. I am six blocks from that White House. At any moment, I have the right to walk in there, remove you, and take your place. You know that. Trump knows that. Kamala Harris knows that. All right, so what I am to tell the public is prepare for it. There is 48% of Americans that are my responsibility, and I know it, and I've taken on that responsibility, okay? You're not going to be left, your elderly, your children, your women, and your civilian men left in rubble to run, wander around with packs of stray animals and all this filth and, 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 and hell on earth. Just stop with all of the, the panic. Put it on your calendar. Chicago, L.A. Oh, L.A., Los Angeles? You volunteered all your tunnels in that town to Hamas terrorists? You volunteered all these high-level weapon systems and you don't think you don't have it coming? You volunteered Hollywood movie industry? Every script, every actor, every just check the list that is a component to your Hollywood movie industry. You gave it, sold it all to Saudi Arabia, Al-Qaeda terrorists and Palestinians. And you think you're going to sit there with Sean Penn and Madonna looking for some new drug, drug Mexican lord to, to go do an interview with? Do, do. You do? Then do me a favor, Kim Kardashian. Keep sitting there. To the son of that idiot. Who is this guy? Will Smith. His son who, who went, went out. He went out and about wearing a $48,000 bag. He had a bag. Let me tell you. That was the stupidest, stupidest, dumbest move you ever made in your life. That bag, all your money, all daddy's money, every one of you, finito. That was the stupidest, stupidest move you made. Thank you for taking pictures with your $50,000 bag. I am to tell the public, you ain't going to have no major cities here. It has to happen. You're twisted, doomed, doomed. Lost with no hope children in the United States of the remaining 62% of our population, enjoy your Instagram while you have it. Enjoy calling your sick, psycho mom and dad while you can. There's going to be no cell phones, no power, nothing. I told every one of you that for seven years. And what did you do? You left me stranded, begging for help, being terrorized by white supremacists. Mexican drug cartel and psychotic losers of war in Muslim terror groups for five years. Your fun is over. That is all I'm to say. Any more comments? Any more? Well, what the comments are are any more hate speech, any more intimidation, any more threats. It all goes online. Any more Iranian hookers, any more 
freak gay guys. It all goes online. Enjoy watching yourselves. And enjoy watching all that to the kids out there. The 62 perverted, doomed, psycho kids in America. Enjoy it while you have it.